Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Pokey Aim here with the next part of the race to the top with Mr. Jamvad. Now, guys, this is episode three. So if you missed episode two, which is uploaded on Jamvad's channel, I encourage you to check it out. That's an hour and a half of content. That's part two of this series. So there's a playlist down below. I encourage you to check it out maybe before you even watch this or you can check it out after uh, just to see where we both are. As per usual, if you guys missed the um, the first episode, basically what we're doing is Jamvan and I are laddering to the top. We have a limit of 10 episodes. This is episode 3. Every other episode is on his channel. So uh, the, the even episodes are on his channel. The odd ones are on my channel. Um, and basically we're playing Pokemon with the same team until we lose. Until we lose. And once you lose, you stop and the next person takes over on their account. So Jamvan would also be part of this video as well. Now... I encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to him. Fantastic content, especially when it comes to competitive Pokemon. If you want to learn, he's definitely one of the top channels that I do advise. Now today we're using a team by Ski Mask. Last time we went 16 and 2. We can actually look at my rank right here. Uh, got pretty unlucky in that episode. Got pretty unlucky. I missed, I think, between me and Jam, we missed six power whips. Uh, I missed three diamond storms, I think. Anyway. We have Sub Electrum Z Magnezone with Choice Band Top Bulu, Defensive Garchomp with Stomping Tantrum because Bulu obviously weakens Earthquake, so Stomping Tantrum is still stronger. AV Magirna, Metronome, Tornadus with some crazy EV spread, and uh, Choice Scarf Cartana as a Wing Con. So let's look for some games. Again, we're going to try our best to not uh, lose very early. Um, it's going to be a tough one. I click Leaf Blade, but I gotta be very careful about Bayonet. So Jamvad's thought process into going this, which I think is really cool, is uh, it's because we have a, a limit of an hour and a half when we can play as well. That's our limit. Like right after an hour and a half, we stop, even if we keep winning. Um, his thought process is okay. Uh, he he takes longer in his games than I usually do, and also you know sometimes we fight different things, but um, sometimes. Uh, I'll lose quicker than him as well. So his thought process is okay I'll try and wear down the time and uh, Basically just not lose uh, in the point and wait for Joey to lose which is me. Uh, so hmm. Very 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 worried about that 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 Nido King. I'm actually super worried about Nido King to the point that I'm gonna use Magirna Oh, I knew that if I took enough time he'd eventually forfeit. Oh, please don't come back. Give me no no. Anyway, I'm really weak to Nido King, and I don't want to have to miss Hurricane or anything like that. So I'm gonna use Magirna to hopefully wear that thing down. Uh, trap Zone or Trap Celestilla with Zone, hopefully, um, and win in the end game with Cartana. That's like the game plan there. So we're gonna go with our um, our Magirna as a lead, as he leads off of Bayonet. Not too bad for me. Uh, we're just gonna Ice Beam here. He can't do too much with Shadow Claw. Uh, I guess he could technically. Yeah, I'm gonna Ice Beam here. He may just Mega Evolve and Will O Wisp. Uh, I don't mind that too much. This thing is actually interesting. Screech. Uh, this thing is actually a little bit annoying, uh, mainly because of Destiny Bond. Screech means he's probably going for Shadow Claw next. I'm gonna go Garchomp and let him take a ton. Uh, I want this thing gone because I can definitely Leaf Blade or Smart Strike through my opponent um, if they're uh, if this thing is gone. So what I'll do now is just get on my rocks here. I, I you think he's Screech Taunt? I don't think he's Screech Taunt. I don't know if anybody else thinks he's Screech Taunt, but yeah, rocks are gonna be the difference between knocking out. Uh, Nido King or not and uh, we'll throw off a toxic here uh, because toxic plus First off destiny bond is a stack secondly toxic plus a uh, ruskin. I, I believe will be able to knock him out uh, it's, it's really close I'm gonna go for double toxic here. I didn't need Garchomp really in this game at all uh, But I obviously don't want to lose it uh, to potentially destiny bond He does outplay me there and goes for shadow claw uh, really nice. I, I don't mind the double down but, obviously, it's a great play on my opponent's part. So, a few plays I can make here. One is go Magirna, which I think just messes with everything. Uh, again, I want that damage on Nidoking. That way, I don't have to worry about it later. Um, and Magirna deals with everything besides Lando. It also deals with Nidoking, too. Uh, the other one would be Tornadus, which matches up well versus a lot as well, except for the Celesteela. So, I kind of like the, uh, the Magirna play right here. Brings out Lando. I don't know if he's Sky Strike, but we can go Bulu back out into Magirna. Uh, and that'll help me out there. Also, just getting up that grass means I do knock you out with Leaf Blade. As he goes right for Earthquake. I'm gonna click Choice Band Woodhammer. I wanna see how my opponent's gonna react to that. He could be Z Fly. But uh, if he goes Muck. Oh, great. So now I, I, this is gonna die. <laughs> yep. Oh, well, you can go ahead and recover that berry and die to the next hit. So, 
Don't know if Lando's Choice Scarf. Probably not. Probably rocks just based on it. But now, once I trap Celesteela, his Hurricane Switching doesn't exist. Uh, obviously, the Needle King can come out now. More than likely will. I will always go Magirna on that, I think. Uh, if he goes Superior, I'm going to click Woodhammer on that. Just to... I, I don't... I want to prevent a sub. I don't want Tornadus being glared. But he does go Needle King. Uh, again... Mag is my best play, whether he goes for Ice Beam or Sludge Wave here. Yep, nice. Get off an Ice Beam. I have an Assault Vest, so I'll tank this hit. Maybe not super well, but well enough. Oh, and he goes for Flamethrower. Nice. He wanted like a mid-ground. So I will take that. Beautiful. And I get a Freeze, which is very, very, very solid. Um, gonna throw off another Ice Beam. Don't see a reason not to. He doesn't have a switch, and I, I really don't mind that. I mean, I get my beast boost, which is really... Beast boost. I get my soul heart, which is really nice. Um, because I can... I can volt switch on the uh, Celesteela, but he brings out Lando. So we're going to make the, the Bulu play one more time. 15%. As he goes for Swords Dance. Content of Crush more than likely coming out. Mag can actually volt switch now, so I'm just going to go with a hammer here. As he goes for Stone Edge, and the fact that I got the boost from Grassy Terrain means that this Leaf Blade is going to blow this thing back. And the good thing about Grassy Terrain is if he is like Earthquake Celesteela, for instance, um, this is going to blow me back. But because if he is Earthquake Celesteela, uh, Grassy Terrain obviously uh, weakens that. So, I knock out Lando. Beautiful. Serp can come out if it wants to. What's the position I want to be in? I'm actually just going to Leaf Blade again. I, think I, I, think, I don't think I'll lose to this because I have Magirna. And I end up critting him. <laughs> Which is not necessarily what I wanted. Uh, ideally, it is a defensive Celestilla. I'm not entirely sure. I gotta be careful to not, like, straight up lose to it. Which I can. Alright, so the dude ends up forfeiting. Great. So we got our first win there. Uh, we take those. I was thinking if we went Celestilla, I probably had to go Torn and knock off and then Volt Switch into Magirna and keep Kartana alive because Sacred Sword would do a lot. But then again, I don't know how much uh, a plus two in grassy terrain Leaf Blade would have done. Should probably have the calculator open. I thought he had two Pokemon. I got really excited. Yo, last time in, in the last... Well, you guys will see. Actually, I can't spoil because this is the episode that's coming out, but that Charizard just kind of scares me. Charizard is definitely a, a giant threat versus this uh, team. Uh, my opponent having Infernape is really good versus me too. No flying resist though, so that'd be pretty good for Tornadus. Hmm. Now that'd be really nice for Tornadus. Uh, if, as far as leads go, I think Garchomp matches up well versus Infernape. Um, as well as Marowak. How do I win this game? Leaf Blade, Leaf Blade. Don't know how I'm gonna beat you. I feel like Magna Zone is going to be key. Obviously, trapping Feral Throne is going to be nice. Yeah, we're going to go the Garchomp route and go towards an endgame uh, Kartana win. Leads off with Feeny. Hold up. My bad. I'm just checking. I have Jamvad's video on the side. Okay. Okay. I thought this was the same guy that Jam played. Because I was like, hold up. This is the guy. This is the guy that has some fire sets. Uh, Bulu is always my play. Whether he natures Madnesses or not. As he goes for Moonblast, which I'm able to tank. Uh, we're going to throw off a Stone Edge here. Now, I don't want to double out into Magnezone because I can switch into it. But if he goes Charizard, and me being able to get... Yeah, please. I know I'm not going to connect it, but... Oof! I managed to get rid of Zard, which is amazing for a Leaf Blade sweep. So, I'm able to get rid of Zard really, really, really early. Fantastic. Giant, giant threat gone. Very happy about that. Uh, this also allows me to get my rocks here while going, while going Garchomp. Um, basically, no matter what he goes for, he's probably going to Shadow Bone. Yep, my boy eats that though. Not bad. So I get up our rocks here. Uh, I can definitely see myself hurricaning winning. I, basically getting up rocks just to force the defog. Uh, because it allows me to go right back out into Bulu and kind of just click Bandit Woodhammer. Yep. Go ahead and click that Bandit Woodhammer now. Do I have to click Bandit Woodhammer? I can just Horn Leech. Ooh, as he stays in. So, gives me Tapu Fini. So, next time he defogs, I'm fine. I'm glad I didn't Woodhammer there, especially because he gave me that. Um, Garchomp comes out. Poison jab? What's the thought process here? Poison jab is the only thing that can knock me out, and Bulu does nothing versus my opponent's team. What was that? 
So because uh, Magirna is under terrain, I can afford to click Ice Beam here. I guess that's Scarf Garchomp, maybe? Yeah, and my own Garchomp comes in for free. I live the Shadow Bone and I can get up rocks, uh, so I'll take it. Uh, so I guess it was just Poison Jab, the only thing that could knock me out. I was, it wasn't worth risking anything else. I think that sub zone is going to be really nice. There we go. Go ahead and get on my rocks. Hurricane also just smacks him. Cartana has a good speed tier. I'm fine with it. Uh, obviously, Bula would have been... Wow, you're crazy. That's actually kind of threatening. Eh, not so much. Because I can just click knock off and get rid of your thick club. So you don't do as much to me, my friend. Uh, I guess we have to connect. I don't think knock off to a KO is even with my metronome boost. But this... I can Sacred Sword sweep him as well. So there's a few options here. I think that's Scarf Garchomp. Flarebits is going to knock me out if he has it. Uh, let's risk it. Yeah, nice. Alright, I mean, when you have these moves, sometimes you just have to hit. That's it. So Garchomp comes out. I still like Magnezone because it traps Feral Thorn. So we're going to go Magirna here. If he goes for anything that's not Outrage, I'm fine. Uh, goes for Stone Edge. That's that's Scarf Garchomp for sure. It's 100% Scarf Garchomp. Look at, look at how you're playing it. Poison Jab and that. Yeah, go ahead and give me my Magnezone. Get up a nice little sub. Go for HP Fire. Deal with you. I have a Lecture MZ for Infernape. Which I'm not sure what type of Infernape it is, but it's maybe Bandit? Bandit could actually be a problem too. So, you can get for rocks. Ends up forfeiting as I go for Substitute. Not bad. So, pretty good start. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty good start. You know, getting some nice wins as we're uh, starting it up. We're almost in the 1400s. Uh, doing alright. I think this game, 100% uh, sub Magna Zone is going to be incredible. Uh, don't know what type of Kiram it is though, if it is AV, that's scary, not AV, excuse me, Metronome. Maybe Scarf Gren or Battle Bun, all of that is really pressures my Magirna, which I don't like very much. Endgame, Leaf Blade, or Sm Smart Strike rather, is probably a little bit better than Leaf Blade. I think that sub, uh, Magna Zone is gonna be key though. Hmm. I want something that doesn't give me a bad matchup at lead versus Gren. I don't mind Lando because I can always go Garchomp. Uh, but Gren and Kyurem give me bad matchups early, so we're going to go out with our uh, interesting lead. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm going to Vault Switch here. You don't do much to me. You're crazy if you go Lando. Pex is definitely your play. Yep. Back in Braille Zone. I'm going to go for Flash Cannon as it hits his best switch-ins. Gonna repeatedly go for Flash Cannon here until I bait him into him staying in. I don't mind getting burnt. Um, you think he'll stay in? Nice. So we get rid of Toxic Specs. Awesome. So definitely a Leaf Blade or, or Smart Strike. I think Smart Strike is 100% looking good to sweep this guy. I'm alright with that. Uh, zone was only useful for literally that. I mean, it's good behind a sub, obviously, but. If I was able to lure the uh, the Tox effects there, I'll take it. I'll, I'll definitely take it. So that being gone is amazing. Uh, Smart Strike is looking that much better. Greninja comes out. Ooh. Don't want him to be Z. I don't want you to be Z. Like Z ground, even though I doubt your Z ground, it makes no sense with your build. Because you have sub metronome Kyurem. But it's still, you know, scary if anything. So I have a really good, like, matchup right now, uh, obviously. Uh, a few things I can do is I think... I value knockoff over going for Hurricane. Because um, if he goes Kyurem, I get rid of metronome. If he goes Lando, I apparently get rid of his Rocky Helmet, which is really nice. Uh, allowing my Smart Strike to be even scarier later. I don't know if that's Scarf Greninja. It could be the way it's being played. Uh, Rock Team does nothing for me. I do value a Toxic here. Especially if he U-turns, I get the Toxic off on him. Uh, I'll live in HP Ice as well. Well, I missed my Toxic. Pretty bad. Choice Ban Bulu is going to uh, pick up a KO. So that's going to be really good. Magirna is still checking that. I don't think Rock Tomb will knock me out. 
should be a little bit more just a little bit more careful. I'm trying to chip away. Lock tomb did six percent. Rocky helmet. Just wanna make sure what he was. That's yeah, fine. Boo to hit anyway. I don't need boo healthy for anything. I just smack. Oh, God, he's too far. Just give me a Pokemon. <laughs> I'm tired of this. Give me a freaking Pokemon right now. Uh, Kieran more than likely coming out if anything. I can't really get up rocks in this game again. A uh, ghost Bulu. Gosh, he took so much damage. Leftovers. Yeah, leftovers Bulu. Oh, it's beating up. Choice Bam Bulu. Sorry, my friend. Go ahead and give me this Pokemon. I don't mind damage on Kyurem. I don't mind damage on Bulu. Because Leaf Blade can do the exact same thing, basically, and even better because of Greninja, obviously. Ice Beam or Earth Power. Garchomp can't really do much. Uh, keep you alive for my grassy terrain. Garchomp doesn't do much. You don't know my set necessarily. So you should fear me in theory. No? Hmm. Guess I'm wrong. Uh, so is Life Orb. Life Orb Kyurem. He doesn't have a Flare Cannon switching. So. That's my move here, but I'm just thinking about, am I making myself too susceptible to Greninja's Ice Beam? I think as long as Magnezone is alive, even at 41%, I, I won't lose the Scarf Ice Beam from Gren. So I think that I click Flare Cannon here for sure. Like no matter what play he clicks, I click Flare Cannon. As he goes Bulu, which gives me some recovery as well, so... Yo, <sighs> or not. Or not. I mean, it gives me recovery, but getting rid of Bulu would have been fantastic, assuming it did go down. Uh, Hurricane is still free. I'm just weaker now to cure him, which I don't like. Like, he makes a nice double there, but I I really need to hit my attacks. That's something we've been struggling with. I think I still always floor cannon. Getting rid of Kyurem is way worth it. You're probably sub roost Earth Power, like I said, and it's going to do a lot to me. But as long as I have Magnezone at 41, I should. If that is Scarf Greninja, um, he shouldn't be able to lock himself into anything versus me. So we get rid of Blue. Beautiful. Give me a little bit more grass terrain. Not bad. Zam comes out. What, to call mine? I Volt Switch here. Into the Beast. You do nothing. Hey, man. Hey, where are your switchings? Put this smart strike. Lando takes it, but... Like, I'm still doing decent... Like, this is this is one that Lando could take? Oh, God, it took that really well. <laughs> what the hell? Defog, U-turn Earthquake. At worst, it's gonna rock two more double out to cure him. I think I still always go out into Torn. Maybe hurricaning earlier would have been a little bit better. Like, hitting Toxic on this guy would have been so good. But I still have my endgame of, um, of Kartana doing it. I did nothing. Nice. We get off a U-turn here. Maybe he'll go cure him. Uh, as I'm slower, unfortunately, it looks like. Ulu. I think Choice Band Superpower is my play. Um, I either A, weaken Lando, or B, get rid of Kyurem. I, I weaken Lando for, yeah, give me Kyurem, nice. So Leaf Flay can win now. Go ahead and give me that Kyurem. Thank you very much. And if he goes Greninja, I always go Magirna, because basically Magirna gets to confirm what type of, like what your set is. Go ahead and knock me out, dude, I don't care. I'm not, I'm not risking my Kartana. Actually thinking about it, maybe this wasn't the play because I can come in on Lando. Maybe it's Torn? I feel like you'll recover here. Anyway. Actually, if you can have recover, that is. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm giving him Torn because Bulu can still eat a hit from... Uh, I'm messing up a little bit in my endgame. Um, Bulu can still eat a hit from... I don't want to make it come down to me hitting Flare Cannon. That's annoying. Doesn't matter though. I still click... Grass move. Bulu still needs a hit from the, uh, the the Lando, and I get a kill at that point. So I think what I should have done there was 
Oh, okay, here he goes this. I'm fine with that. Um, I think what I should have done was potentially... We could HP Ice, I suppose. But then I get in Bulu. I get in my, uh... My car anyway. As he goes for Earthquake. Horn Leech here. Get rid of Lando. Okay, maybe he's trying to low kick me in the end game. I'm not sure. It's in Gren. Gren has to Ice Beam me. It has to Ice Beam me. As long as I have Zone, he can't do it. And he's Z. Oh my god, I look like a god. <laughs> oh my god. That is not what I predicted, but that legitimately does not matter. <laughs> because now I win the game with Scarf. Um, I guess Z was always an option too. But now I win the game with Scarf Cortana, which is what the end game I was going for was. But holy crap, man. I did not anticipate that at all. I just basically switched because he had to go for Ice Beam if he was Scarf to knock me out. Low Kick wouldn't have done it. Good game, Gustavo. Not bad. We are in the 1400s. 1413, and we are on the climb. Not even bad. And now we have a chance. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Hurricane is nice here. Scarf. This is a tough one. Oh my god. Banded Bulu though? Ooh, Bulu Bow. Yeah, Bulu is amazing. Uh, I cannot let in Mawau at almost every cost. That's crazy. I'm very weak to that thing. But sub zone gets rid of that. So uh, that'll probably be a switching at a point. Um, don't think your T spikes. Scarf, Rocks. No, Scarf, Rocks, Z. Specs, T spike. Don't, I didn't think this was T spike. This is T spike. Uh, and, and I don't know if this is SD or not, but I'm gonna bring in my mag on him and sub and then blow it away. That's like the game plan. Because getting rid of Maul means I can click Choice Bale with Hammer. So I think Bulu is gonna be the difference between me winning or not. Speaking of which, I'm gonna let off with my boy. As he leads Lando. This is, this is, bro, this is Scarf. This is the, I'm playing Superpower. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm reading your team, and this is Scarf. That's it, period. This is Scarf. Yeah. Give me this. Maybe I can Leaf Blade you as well. That did some good damage. So that's Leftovers Heat Ram. This gives me Garchomp just to get up my rocks. As he goes for Magma Storm here. We're gonna Stomping Tantrum just in case he's a little, uh, a little insane. Yep. Go ahead and give me that Heat Ram. Beautiful. So we get rid of Heat Ram, which means Leaf Blade is free. Mawal does not count as a Leaf Blade answer. This might be a spike coming out. Yup. I don't mind Chansey because I can literally defog on it for free. Yeah, I can, I can defog on you, so I don't really care. It's probably going to bring out Mawal. That is a crazy play because he just gave me his a vial. Okay, yeah, this is this is a this is a game I can win. This is definitely a game I can win. <laughs> Leaf play is gonna win. That or zone, bro. If you size and toss me, you take ten million. Yep, go ahead, go ahead. Was it worth it? Was it worth it, Chancy? Let me uh, let me be a little bit careful with this though. Kinda want some recovery, so yeah, I'm getting my recovery now. <laughs> you can go maul if you want. I don't even care. I don't even need my Garchomp no more, dude. He gave me Heat Ran. He's giving me Lando too, bro. You can you turn out. First off, you just gave me the damage. I oh my god, that, the hundred percent I need for Cartana to knock you out. <laughs> That's insane. Now I sat Garchomp because this is only here for that. Go out to Magnezone and sub. I sub up on his sucker. Which you literally have to go for. It. Yep. Click my Z move. Get rid of the biggest threat. Leaf Blade is free. Leaf Blade is free. I can't believe this dude gave me Heat Ran. It's crazy, Jam. I don't know if you're watching, but that's legitimately what we were talking about. The people who will keep in their Pokemon on a Pokemon when they have 10 million counters to it. 
I literally go Bulu now and click Choice Ban Horn Leech. And I did it because it doesn't matter what double you make, he loses. He loses. You stay in with Chansey, I take 10 million. The crit on Lando obviously sped it up though. Um, but it would have been the damage I needed. Let's see how much you take. Mmm, that is some lovely, lovely recovery. Man, you're not. Your Greninja doesn't have a way of hitting me either. I don't know why you're going out to Grant like you can win. <laughs> Chimpax? I thought this was Hydro Vort. Uh, this was Acid Downpour, but. Nah. Chimpax has been preaching that. Once you showed spikes, I knew you weren't running Gunk Shot. You had to be Surf, Water Shark, and Dark Pulse. Not bad. Not bad at all. We are on the climb, my friends. We are on the climb. 14, 36. Uh, what is. Where are we? We are 20 and 2. I think my goal is. 22 let's, let's say my goal was 22 like well, obviously you know if you keep winning that'd be fantastic but the goal would be the 22 last goal was 20 and like i said guys go and check out that content oh this is a tough one uh so leaf blade is basically free besides these two so definitely a cart is an end game i want to go towards but mega tyranitar freaking lele whole bunch of mess scarf lando um yeah, I'm gonna have to use Banded Bulu to break through one of these Pokemon. He's definitely gonna lead off with. Uh, I'm going for my Endgame Cartana sweep as usual, and I do value. I, I value. Uh, first off, I doubt this is Z, but it, it shouldn't be Z. But I do value uh, chip damage on you with Rough Skin and Rocky Helmet as he goes for rocks. How about you, Z? Interesting. So it's defensive. Good to know. Crits me immediately. Fantastic. I'm so what type of heat run are you? I basically want a toxic here. I don't mind Ronin coming in. Uh, I actually do manage to land a toxic, which is really nice as well. I'm assuming you're just going to. There's nothing I want getting burnt at all. Lando being defensive is annoying. I'm just gonna weaken you to the point and just spam my rocks after. As he knocks me out, I can get out my Kartana. Gonna double out into my Magnezone, anticipating him to want to go Zapdos. And I'm gonna attempt to uh, Specs or Z him. Because if I get rid of that, I can leave play for free. A roost. Heat wave me, it's so free. Heat wave me. Is that Thunderbolt? I'm okay with you defogging. Uh, I get rid of his uh, his his static mon right here, right? This is Modest Magnezone. You are a strong Pokemon. Get the hell out of my sight. That is what I like to see. We're gonna start bopping some Pokemon now with Bulu, and we're, th this is it. I did what I needed. Like I said, this is the end game that was hopefully it's it's obviously only turn six, but I got rid of the static answer. You need plus three. Mm. Flash Cannon 2 a KO you? Because if it does, it's my play. Magnazone, custom set. Mega Tyranitar, Dragon Dance in the sand. Flash Cannon does 47 to 56. Okay, that's not bad. I don't mind him Dragon Dancing in my face if, I, if I'm able to 2 a KO. I'm modest, so. Ooh, that's a good. That's scary. That should scare him. That should scare him. Come on, man. That's scary. Oof. 51%? Hold up. Thank you. In. Sacred Sword all the way because that heat ran is a problem. All the way. Yeah, heat ran's actually uh, such a problem with Garch. I'm gone. Like, there are some pros and cons to this. Lando gets in. I bring out Torn. Uh, I can't. I, it's gonna be hard. That that heat ran's gonna be tough. That heat ran's gonna be very tough. In fact, I value knocking a lot because I start boosting with Metronome. It's probably Z heat ran too. As he goes, Rotom. Get a nice little critical. I guess I could defog here. I, I, I don't beat heat ran very well, but I'm gonna have to volt switch out into it with Magirna. Just 
still. I like knocking you. Some nice damage. Yep, I know I live. Give me heat ran, because I get damage off on you. Oh, it gives me Lando, nice. Let me get some hurricane damage. That's just a, a poor play I felt on my opponent too, because I need hurricane damage on you to sweep you, but he's not thinking about it himself. I'm gonna unfortunately have to volt switch out to my Magirna. I doubt you pain split on this thing, especially based on the way I've been playing. Yeah. I'll probably go Heat Ran now. And I have to volt switch on you. Oh man. This thing is a problem. It's Lava Plume though. Oh, this is such a good turn for me. This is so good. Getting rid of Heatran's item is so good for me. Bro, this doesn't even matter. I literally go Magirna and Volt Switch. This is still gonna do enough for Volt Switch, so I'm good. Bro, you're just boosting my metronome. Maybe I don't even do it. Unfortunately, did not did not get it. Is he torment trap? Are you torment trap? No, okay. That was a crit, by the way. That did nothing. I still think I sacred sword because he has protect, which is annoying. Now we're gonna get out Bulu and get our K. I'm gonna I'm gonna get out Bulu right now and get up my KO. Or at least weaken, or at least weaken the uh, the Lando. That's fine too, buddy. Yeah, that's not that fine. Oh, specs. Oh shoot. I might have just lost right here. Damn, man. Sub heat ran. Ah. Can he throw it away? No. If he didn't get that crit earlier on Garchomp, it sucked. But that, that was my bad. I risked that by staying in. Ah, man. I'm trying to weaken him to maybe like a Leaf Blade mini sweep or something crazy like that. Like if, if I crit the Lando and then I crit the Heat Ran, I think I, I win. But maybe not even. I'd have to get crit turn initially. Turn two. <laughs> Just having that thing as a pivot would have been nice. Damn, man, I definitely undervalue. I, I did not expect sub heat ran, so that was really cool. That should be game. I shouldn't be able to break through him unless he throws. Like, I, I literally have to crit this, and then he has to go Lele after and not heat ran. Did he just get a high roll earthquake? Good game. All right, so unfortunately, guys, that ends my uh, my ladder to loss. We are at 14-16. Not too bad. Uh, 20 and 3, 14-16. Eh. I think that game... Ugh, man, you know what I needed to focus on? I feel like I needed to get in Bulu more in that last game, so that was my bad. What is this EV spread? I just realized that. I think I needed to get Bulu a little bit more in that last game after knocking out Zapdos, but it got a little tough because the DD Tarantar. Um... If I could change something on this team, I, mean, I put maybe get rid of Metronome and put Helmet. I don't think that would have made much of a difference in this game. Uh, I would not let my Garchomp get crit. <laughs> That's a big one. But yeah, all right. So that ends our ladder to loss today. Thank you everybody for watching. Jamvad's part is coming up right now, so stay tuned. Like I said, check him out. Feel free to subscribe. That dude definitely beat me down, though. I'm not gonna lie. That dude definitely beat me down. Uh, how could I have done differently? Did I miss Toxic on that guy too? I don't remember. Was that the Lando I missed Toxic? I don't remember if that was that guy or another guy. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed. 
Uh, check out Jamvat. His part's coming up. Take it away, bro. What's up, guys? It's Mr. Jamvat, and today we are back from the Pokemon Showdown server for episode three. Um, I want to thank all y'all for checking me out. A lot of y'all have sub, and a lot of you guys just left a, a lot of positive energy. I'm loving that. Um, if you don't know who I am, I am Mr. Jamvat. Most call me Jam. Um, a lot call me the old man, but I'm not old. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I'm all about competitive Pokemon. So if you're interested in learning all there is to know with regards to how to get better with your skill, if you're trying to get into competitive Pokemon singles, all that, um, then me, Joey, and to a lesser degree, Blender, he doesn't focus on it as much anymore, but we're going to be the three most helpful channels for you. So without, no, I wasn't going to say without further ado, and with that being said at the same damn time, um, all that being said, uh, today we're going to be featuring a grassy terrain team. Uh, this was given to me by Joey. The way we do it is Joey picked the first, I picked the second, Joey picked the third, I picked the fourth. So he chose the team we're going to be using today. Let's hop right into it a minute in. Um, the past two episodes, our games have been, um, we've lost the games to extreme luck. Uh, we don't have too many stop and tantrum. Up I don't I don't know how I feel about that being on this channel. Watch Earthquake not being on there be this huge deal. What's well, Tom Intentions power? Uh, but yeah, this guy's a real team too. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I forgot to talk to Joey about that. Stomp and tantrum. Man, I just want some earthquake. Maybe I don't miss out on any significant KOs, but I'm not feeling that at all. Um Hey, you never know till you try, right? So looking at his team, I like a little. I like a leaf blade if I can trap uh, the the Cartana. Otherwise, the leaf blade just runs through his team. And if I can trap, not trap, not uh, heat trend. If I can just bait heat trend and continual volt switches, um, torn knocking it out. I don't know why I'm metronome with Hurricane. Um, it's, it's, I'm not feeling these sets. I wonder if Joe checked them. Um, maybe we can get him to timeout, but looking at my opponent's team, uh, Tran slash Lando, definitely his rock options. Um, I'm more offensive. I don't seem to have a lot of HP in my turn. Um, my Bandit Bulu should go a long way as well. Um, so we're going to do his lead Tornadoes here as he leads Lele. I'm free to U-turn here for two reasons. Well, so what I'm thinking is if he's Scarf, I live in the hit which if he specs, I get to knock off, but do I want to remove his specs is the, good, is the question. Um, seeing as my, my McGuinness sole purpose in this game would to check be to check this Lele, I think I would want to remove his specs as he happens to go to Landry's Steering and he loses his Choice Scarf instead, which is pretty important um, like in a bad way though, because well, it, it, we'll see. We'll see. I do know that Scarf Lando, which means it's likely not Scarf Lando. It's likely not Scarf Lele. Um, these do tend to oftentimes run Stone Edge. Um, so what I'm going to do is go to Guard Chomp. If he chooses to U-turn, then he takes, um, what, I think 25%? Excuse me. Uh, over that, actually. He takes a ton of damage. He's likely going to side Shock and I could stay in and get up rocks, but that would be foolish, especially because this... Um, handles so much of his team, so I'm gonna use McGuna for what is on the team for as he hidden power fires, and that looks choice card to me. So I'm gonna Volt Switch here now. Like I could double to Torn, which covers both um, Gastrodon and, but I want Heatran to come out right. So it goes Heatran. That's who I wanted it, and this gives me the opportunity to get up my bands. Uh, if he chooses to stay, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, there's very little I can lose as my opponent just forfeits. So that's great as far as my time is concerned. I think Joey still has technically more wins than me, even though in the previous episode um, he lost pretty quickly. I think in the first episode he just got a lot more. A lot. His games were a lot shorter, so he was able to rack up a lot more wins than me. So I don't know where he stands on points, but today we intend not to lose. But I'm getting real teams. It ain't fair, man. I swear we Joey be getting these fucking uh, Pachirisu teams and I'm getting Kuro Black straight OUT. 
but hey, hey. But that's why my games tend to take longer as well. I'm, I'm all for it though. I'm all here for it. Uh, looking at my opponent's team, very difficult to sweep with Carp. Um, I, I may be able to secret sword through his team. One, two, three. Um, he said he this. Anyway, um, looking at his team, definitely want to trap the scissor or, or, or trap the card time. We need information. Likely Z Chomp. I don't have an intimidator on this team, so that Z Chomp is a huge issue. Um, he has a pretty solid matchup. Uh, he seems to know who I am. Um, he has a solid matchup versus my build. Very, very, very solid. I'm not hitting power flying on this. No. Um, so my top of my my Magirna offensively is actually going to be a huge asset to me and um, What I need to do pronto is get up rocks. I'm gonna lead Kartana. I can't afford to have a lead um, Versus that cure me. Well, actually, I'm gonna leave Magirna uh, He's either gonna need Landers or cure him right as he leads cure him. Um, the only thing he can do I don't think he'd bolt switch I don't think he'd go to. I'm gonna volt switch here. The only thing he could do is is go uh, Heatran. Uh, Cause I'd either Flur Cannon there, so he wouldn't go Orlando, you know, or I'd Iron Head or Ice Beam, you know, something along those lines. So I don't see why you'd have ever gone to that. Uh, I do want this thing's item gone. Hmm, no item. So this is. Huh. I wonder what item this is. Stand potential. It's 75. Power. Power doubles if you use the last move. If the user's last move on the previous turn, including move called by others to impact magical slash dancer. Failed. Um, this is not including. Okay, so I should go top of Finny here. Um, which gives me an opportunity to go to my bullet. So this is where it's going to get, get fun, right? Um, Cause I, I could go in my torn here, right? Torn. Okay, let me, let me slow down a bit. So torn's core purpose in this one is to guard against the card tunnel without me having to go hard magnet zone. You can come in once if it's scarf, then it locks itself in a smart striker because that's the only thing that can two it kill me, and I trap it. I mean, that gives me opportunity to trap scissor as well. If I trap scissor and card tunnel, that frees up a lot of room. Um, well, it's still heat train. He has a quite a few leaf blade switches, um, but we're gonna go Bulu here, um, and it's gonna it's gonna be an important turn because I'm gonna superpower. He has no information on my Bulu, so if he chooses to go Scizor, I think he might go to. Let me think. If, what would be the worst case? Him going to. You go Lando here. I'm just gonna wood hammer. You go Scizor. Scizor isn't that big of an issue. Um, so I'm gonna go Magirna here. Um, Cause he should just Mega Evolve and U-turn. As he goes Landers, um, free to Volt Switch on this because he should U-turn out here. Even if he chooses to Earthquake, he's gonna die to Ice Beam. So I'm gonna just roll switch here. He can never just allow my Magirna to ice beam him here. as we lower e he train in again. Again, it has no items, so uh, we're gonna go for Stealth Rock on Chomp. And basically, that sequence of turns got him very little out of the turn, and got me a lot out of it. If he chooses to stay in here and not go to Finny on my rocks, then I can pivot out and capitalize on his Finny coming in next turn, which I don't think he wants. He double switched with Scizor, which means he's probably he's not super powerful one and he doesn't have U-turn, which is good information. So he's probably SD curse or I mean curse or he's knockoff scissor. If you needed to double switch instead of hard arm um, U-turning. Um, so he goes to cure him black and he's on the offensive now. He's on the offensive. He wants his kill. And you know, I don't guard very well against it, so I think that's a, a very solid um, play, a course of action. Uh, Tabu Bulu is easily my weakest link. So what I'm gonna do is on the potential Z. Yeah, I'll go Bulu. Should Z move here. Just a regular ice beams. Oh, he's life for If he was life, I could've just 
Okay, well, I didn't know that. So we're gonna go over to gear in here. And if he stays in, if I vote switch on his train again, he's in a really bad spot. Um, I keep vote switching. Hmm, this is a rough matchup, man. This is a really rough matchup. Uh, Orb Kirum just runs through this team. I gotta make every play correctly this game. So if I keep weakening Scizor, I mean. That means the Z move user is trying to. Goes Lando. Yes, that's great. That is amazing. So I get to a vol switch here. He could defog, but I think he should save his landers uh, because of grassy terrain. Uh, he defogs. So he has defog, Finny, and landers. So I do get to vol switch again here. So I could have killed the landers, which would have been great. I do get to vol switch here because I'm pretty confident this is Scarf. Um, as I catch the heat trend, it's not going to do too much damage. Um, I'm forced to go chomp. Uh, this is the trend. He doesn't know anything about my guard chomp though, so I'm actually very surprised that he's. Unless he happened to U turn on it. No, that was the last game. He doesn't know anything about my guard chomp, so. Go Scizor. So I'm guessing he's trying to. I'm really just stomping Tantrum here. Um, I don't understand the Scizor play. I figured that's what he'd do though. I figured he'd go Scizor then go Landers. So I'm free to stealth rock here. If he earthquakes, then he's earthquake locked and he has to stay. Okay, yeah. Um, I can go torn here and there's nothing he can do about that. Yeah. Now you turn out. Um, so he goes Finny. Um, why isn't this faster than Finny? He's probably faster than Finny probably runs the speed to. So what I'm gonna do is go to my Magnazone here. I'm gonna substitute um, because I'm expecting a lander or sack here. And Magnazone behind a sub misses his team up. I don't think he's gonna give me Finny. Finny's actually pretty dope. Um, especially because he has very little fighting resist. So I can start Sacred Sorting if I can trap. I can start Sacred Sword sweeping if I can trap. If I get rid of Finny and I can trap um, Scizor. Even with Scizor alive. So it goes Scizor on my Magazone, which is pretty weird. Um, especially because I don't think he can even break my sub. So if I knock him out, yeah, I'm about to start messing this team up. Because I'm going to Electrium Z to remove Tran. And I, I removed Tran and Scizor, two solid grass switches. So he really only has three Pokemon left because Lando goes down the hazard. So he's forced to go to Kurum or Kartana here. My Tornadus is at full. So unless he goes for Z, Giga Impact or something. Um, Sacred Swords, he's banded, which means, because the Lando, um, the Lando wasn't Scar. Yeah, the Lando was Scar, so this is banded card, um, which is good for my own Kartana. He has no Hurricane switching, so I'm free to Hurricane here as he goes Finny. Um, again, cannot take these well. My Magnazone is no longer, let me see, is it necessary? It's necessary to keep that card in, in its place. Um, I don't want this continually recovering health um, so I'm gonna knock here he should defog yep. and I can hurricane again here uh, there's very little downside especially because mag takes on Kirin and if Kirin switches in a hurricane that's hurricane plus um, u-turn uh, goes cart I kill Kartana which means I just leave blade or smart strike through his team so it's a done deal at this point um, Leaf Blade, Smart, well, Smart Strike is the correct play. We managed to just <laughs> position ourselves better than the opponent. Um, that's really what that one came down to because he had me on the ropes until I made that Magazine play. I capitalized on him just getting comfortable and understood that Magazine really, on one correct turn, just messed him up. And him allowing Lando, the Fleur Cannon 
on the Kirim instead of going for Volus, which was huge. It was huge. You could argue that it was better for me not to kill the Lando. So instead of Ice Beam killing it, it might have been better to have it low than KOing it. I don't remember the details of the game, so Moncas. I don't remember the details of the game, so you know that is what it is. But loving how cool this opponent's team look. Um, bring back Venusaur. So definitely Mega Venu Zapdos. We gotta get information on that. Um, rocking the Drill Buzzwall T Tar combo. Um, are you a YouTuber or something, or do you just want a private room? Privacy. Um. <laughs> Oh man, knockoff torn. Let me see game plan wise. Cool, cool, cool. All right, this, I like this guy. It's cool. Um, it's Buzzwell and Venus sort of hard walls. My blue. If I can catch that dose on a stone, that would be dope. Uh, my Garchomp is gonna go a long way if I can wither down Finny. Garchomp is pretty difficult for him to deal with. Um, his Venusaur is very, 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 very difficult for me to beat. So I'm going to try to set up a situation where I can hopefully smart strike this team to where I have a beast boost. Um, but his Venusaur is a bitch. I don't know how this team beats Venusaur. Um, I have to freeze it. And if it's, if it's not pressure Zapdos, then I won't knock it off because... It's too dangerous. The rocker are one, two, which means all right. We're gonna leave top of Bulu here, and I am going to wood hammer immediately. Um, could stone edge, could stone edge, but on the off chance he goes Zapdos, which would really make my day. Um, stone edge, I don't think would KO Zapdos anyway. Oh, so he just left Tyrant at Tyrant and got hammered. Thankfully, I did not predict there as he unveils Venus. So I understand why he'd anticipate me to predict, but Magirna covers everything. It probably gets all the health back with Grassy Terrain you could ever go for. So he shows Leech Seed is actually not a bad thing for me because if he has Leech Seed, he has to have Synthesis. And he has one of his stabs. And depending on what stab he has, uh, if it's Sludge Bomb, if it's just Dual Stab, that means Cart can just stay in infinitely on that to Smart Strike it down. Um, if it's just dual stuff again, Magnus Zone matches up well. Um, so, fearing a potential, uh, so we're gonna go large time here essentially because I don't want extra drill to come in. Stomping Tantrum, I don't think is affected by Grassy Terrain, and he's gonna stand. Um, the Sandstorm is dope though. The Sandstorm means he can't just do as he pleases. Uh, so my nature's man is here. I want my Tabu Fini to be as, I mean my Magirna to be as healthy as possible. Um, outside of that drill, it does pretty handsomely versus his team. Weakest link moves, so I'm always going to switch it in. I doubt he's going to go for Scald anyway. Yeah, Moon Blast. Um, you might think he's faster than me, or he should. He might go Venusaur. Um, so what I'm going to do here, go Zap. And it's pressure, which is good. Because uh, that means I can just do as I please versus this. Um, he has many ends out though, so he might not be. Um, he might have HP ice, which is actually pretty bad. Um, this that's pretty bad. I'd have to bait in. So let's go mag as a mid ground tank. Anyone hit? See, there's the HP ice. Um, so heat wave likely to come out here. I'm gonna allow him to heat wave me or predict his excadrill. I know I don't go down to HP ice, but grassy terrain, I'll be able to live in HP ice and toxic this. Because Zapdos is gonna be a problem and Mag and Garchomp switching around is gonna come on man. That is a huge toxic thing. My Garchomp will be alive so I can get rocks up. And his Zapdos will be poisoned. Damn man. Um does show that he's slow though as he's just gonna knock my chomp out that wasn't a, a fair trade i'm gonna go mcgearn and just ice beam um again very weak to smart strike but because of buzzwell's natural bulk it'll be an issue but zapdos going down means tornadoes is a big issue um, no information on his his excadrill yet 
I'm getting guard charge. So he stays in, which is a horrible play. Allows me to ice beam him. And uh, I'm gonna um, ice beam again, even if he roosts. So drill takes ice beam, takes 16%. He's a salt vest. Which means he's gonna iron head here or something like that. I can U turn out and go to whatever I want. Rock slide, yeah, something like that. Uh, it doesn't really matter what he goes for. But now I know he's a salt vest. Is he should iron head here? Uh, I'm gonna go cart. He rock slides though. Um, gonna knock. Yeah, Bini was likely to come out. Um, I'm, a, I'm afraid of potential slug bombs. So I'm gonna go top of Finny here. Um, so he shows HP fire. I mean, not top of Finny. Um, beginner. Thankfully, I'm slower, so I can Vol switch out into Torn, which gives me regen. And Zapdos gets to it KO'd. And even if he stays, I'm gonna U turn out here, but even if he's uh, yeah, even if he stays in which was foolish as shit. Um I could go Bula, but I don't want to Sludge Bomb. So he has no synthesis. Or he might not have Giga Drain. Okay. So he hits all my minds. Gonna roll switch again here. Um, makes the foolish play of lead seeding. So if I can just hit this fucking hurricane, got a lot of steely boys. <laughs> you notice, got three of them, three of them bad boys. So it goes to drill. I miss. Um, do I care to knock off his assault vest, or do I want to just U-turn? I do care to knock it off because it'll allow Magirna to mess him up a little bit easier. So Magirna. With the boost, it's it rough for his team. I knew he'd earthquake predicting my cart. I knew it. I'm gonna go cart now, though. Uh, even if he earthquakes, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Because he allows Zapdos to get solo, I think Smart Strike might to kill if that uh, and Mega Vuna. Yep. So that's a beast boost. Unless he goes to, oh, he gave me the beast boost. He gave me the Vina so And what that means is, I don't think Bandit Beast Boost kills this because he was slower than my. It's slower than my thing, so um, I like it's the weakest link at this point. Bulu probably, because Bulu into Mag is a KO. I don't want Mag. Magazine is helpful for these, especially if I can sub on Finny. So Bulu weakest link gonna allow him to heat wave me on that. And right here, we are free to just ice beam. Um, he should just heat wave me just based on how he plays. Drill should does not go down. Um, but I'm free to go to cart and knock. Because no matter what, the, the freeze matter. Because now, you know, I'm getting I'm in a phenomenal position. I'm knocking because I don't want Buzzle to get a free switch as he goes zap. Um, get the beast boost. I don't want Buzzle just just doing as it pleases. Um, I can be Tabo Fini with Madison. I really don't want this to be sub and him do as he pleases. So I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, it has sub because Leech Life It's probably two attacks. It could be sub three attacks. Um, ooh, like hammer arm. Um, could, could be sub three attacks. Okay, let's cut it out. Okay, I see ice punch. He freezes me. Um, <laughs> revenge. Um, so all I need to do to win this game is get this thing from behind the sub. Um, if he doesn't have Earthquake, then yeah, that was revenge. Uh, Ice Punch never kills me. So he has Focus Punch. That hurt. Um, it's going to take quite a few U turns to break his sub. Um, so he Focus Punches again. That's fine. We got the attack boost. So it'll all depend on, on how fast the Buzzwall is. Um, 
because I don't even think I could U turn again and set Magnazone. Let me not throw the game away. Because um, Torrent, oh god, it's gonna probably come down to a Leaf Blade situation. Um, so I'm gonna have to go to the cart. It's gonna focus punch. Um, the good thing though is the fact that he can only focus punch to attack my Magnezone, which means if I never allow him to focus punch, he can never KO me. So, Leech Life, Ice Punch, I'm free to go Magnezone here, and I'm hesitant to click Flash Cannon because I don't think it kills, but I don't think it matters if it doesn't kill. However, I don't want, um, I don't want, yeah, I'm just going to hit like Gym Z. Okay, so now I can Flash Cannon because Flash Cannon kills from here. Um, Bro, I'm never gonna allow you to just get a free sun. So I flash can here. Each life, yeah, doesn't do enough. And Drill has to come in, it's frozen, it has to earthquake, even if it doesn't earthquake. I uh, go Sweeney though, so I get to T-bolt this. If I can get the T-bolt off, mm, then torn. Um, let's see, did he get left in? Yeah, yeah, he did, he did. Um, just thinking if like if there's a way he could pull this off. Cause if I go touring here, like I wanna have it be like a no no luck kind of thing. So I survive at least one. No, no, I'm gonna say GG yet, bro. Cause but what if he has like Ice Beam or something? I don't think I died from Ice Beam from there. Surf did fucking 37 to Magnezone. Especially because he tanked. He's definitely max HP. Um, I want to say knockoff plus U turn should kill him. Um, Moonblast. Oh, I guess the critical special attack drop. Knockoff did 8%. So Moon. Come on, man. Maybe I should have just Hurricane for two. I do have a couple chances to do this. Um, this is kind of why I wanted to potentially switch to Torn so I could not then switch back to Magnezone and then I'd have more health that way hopefully I wouldn't take any hits so if Drill on Thaws I can just knock off twice and looking back I probably should have done that instead let me count this real quick so according to this knockoff does 8% to 9% to defensive and U-turn does 5% to 6 I'm pretty sure he's at 5 I'm gonna U-turn here okay KOs he's saying he's frozen I've won Dude, you're frozen, but you can thaw. Especially because Misty Terrain, the way that works is, uh, I think mine especially, I don't know what the fuck kind of drill he is. Knockoff won't kill him though. Oh, he's still frozen, God bless. God bless. Bless up. <laughs> I just do not want to ever rely. Good game, dude, good sport though. Um, I don't want to ever rely on Hurricane again if I never have to. That's how I dropped out of the first damn episode. Never clicking that move if I don't have to. Um, but I could have finished it a little more cleanly. If I realized his top of the would have done such a little bit of damage to my turn, I played it a little more um, cautiously. And had Mag just done his job. And just fucking killed the top of Finny. Wouldn't even be here. But had to live. Um, looking at my opponent's team. With Rocks up, I really like Smart Strike or Leaf Blade. Depending on if it's Zard Y. Um, if it's Zard Y, it's more of a problem. Actually, maybe Zard X is more. Um, they're both. They both just run through my team. With Zard X, I'll have to bait and switch between these two. Um, and never have grassy terrain up. But beta switching, you know, forcing the flare blitz as I go with Chomp, give him a ton of recoil to where a carp can kill. Um, Torn, he has no flying resist. And I'm third finning in a row. 
Um, if I can play Magnezone correctly, it will mess up at least two of his Pokemon um, before the stuff is even broken. So I get up Bands versus Ferrothorn and Crocodile fairly uh, easily. And what we're gonna do is lead off with. Do I need Mag to be a full funny? I'm gonna lead off with Garchomp just to scare off a potential um, Zard lead because he has no information on this whatsoever. So. Uh, what we're gonna do here is go to Tornadus on the odd chance he nature's madnesses. I don't want Mag Nature's Madness quite yet. Um, Cause he could I, I guess he could be Genesis Supernova Mew. I mean he already has a default. I don't know what the Mew is there for. Uh, so it could be Genesis and that um Mag gonna get my my god fuck the gear to um, is pretty helpful for that. Um, Torn again, you know, if he just average moon blasts, whatever, if he goes through like a specs, if, if he does to specs something, then I would have been the play. Um, and I don't know his level of skill, so really what I'd love to do is go to Mac and Furry Cannon anticipating Crook, because if I Volt Switch, I invite Ferrothorn, I mean, invite. If I Volt Switch, you invite Ferrothorn. So, worst case would be me Volt Switching and him going Crook. If I flirt in and he goes Barrow, and then I Volt Switch and he goes Crook, I'm still fine. So he goes for Ice View and he specs and he freezes me. <sighs> this is gonna be it's gonna be a doozy of a game. All right, so we're gonna flirt cannon here um, because he Ice Beam. What do I have in guard time? He Ice Beam over Moon Blasting. Maybe anticipating uh, Bulu. Yeah, Bulu would make sense. Again, I'm expecting Crook, because I'm clearly a soul face, and this is the most obvious Volt Switch of all time. Um, if he doesn't go hard Crook, then that gives me information. He's not a gambler. Um, I do have Bulu for Crook, so I'm not ultra concerned. And then I'll super power on the Switch, uh, because Mag will still be at full, so it can take on the Tornadoes of any kind. Um, Thought I'll, I do, say so Ghost, Ferrothorn. Um, so we're gonna Volt Switch here. Um, so if I had Volt Switched directly into Mag, I'd have a sub and I wouldn't have to worry about his hazards. But since I have Volt Switch here, because you, sh you should go Crook. So if I trap Pharaoh now, no, Rocks are Paramount. Swords Dance, huh? How would you Swords Dance if you're expecting? Oh boy. I'm facing one of those, like a Mimi type of dude, which isn't bad. Um, the issue is, I don't want Garchomp taking like a Power Whip right now. Um, even though I want rocks. However, I don't know what else I'm going to I guess I can get rocks on Crook. Can't lose cart. The mag's on the team to trap this. But how do I deal with Feeny? Feeny, do you love me? So it goes to Feeny, and Feeny is gonna go for a Specs Hydro Pump. Um, don't want to kick a vote if he. I'll T vote. I'll T vote. <clears throat> I want to kind of go to to Bulu because it covers both. Okay, thank goodness I didn't Giga. Uh, so I'm free to go to Bulu here. Uh, I could see a double to Charizard coming. I don't know how advanced he is. He just never earthquake here, so you'd you'd anticipate Bulu to come out and go for it. Like watch Sub be the play here, guys. However, if sub will not be the play if so it doubles to Charizard. If it's Zard Y I'm in a bad spot. And that's what I meant. Like I don't know my opponent's level of skill. So it's a gamble. Um If he's Zard Y then Torn is the play. If he's not, then this is a this is this is gonna be rough. So what I can do is go to my guard chomp, right? If he's Zard Y, um so he's Zard X. Um I 
which is kind of part of the reason why I thought Mag is known. If he's Zardex, then Mag isn't the play anyway. Um, so we're gonna go to Bulu here as he goes Finny, and I have the terrain up, so he's definitely gonna go to. I mean, I think in any situation, Mag is always the play here. I mean, either, either Ice Beams, either Ice Beams, yep, or doubles out. So Magnezone is positioned and poised perfectly right now. And uh, what I can do is just fire off a flash. No, I'll sub first. Um, T Bolt King of Thumb. Okay, so he's T Bolt, which means, I mean, he's Earthquake, which means he lacks Roost. That's good information. Um, so you'd either blitz, I don't think you Dragon Claw, and if you do, you don't KO me, but Garchomp's too important, so I'm not going to gamble with that. Um, I could see an Earthquake coming out of here, too. You'd expect me to switch. You'd never fire move here. You'd never fire move here. Um, so what's the weakest link? Uh, let's go, Bulu. So I'll get Finny in again, and my grassy terrain is reset. The last time he went to, no, last time he ice beamed, um, and I went to zone. But if I was assault vest, then you wouldn't even kill me with ice beam. So that gives me insight onto the type of player I'm playing. I probably will go for something else here. It goes to Zardex. I go hard chump. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I'm going hard chomp. Even if you're driving claws again, I don't go down. If you like, do something like outrage, um, so fire punch, rough skin, um, thing, and I'm back at damn near full. Uh, Stop it, Chantrum. We'll KO this bad boy. I do need this con because then I can leave play. Uh, Ghost Crook, which is weird because this is rocks. So this just opened up a, a huge door. Um, if I can trap his Ferrothorn, I can leave Blade through his team with rocks up. Um, I just need one beast boost. So it goes for knockoff and fucking crits me. That crits big because now, one, I don't have my Rocky helmet anymore. And secondly, uh, the crook can do whatever the fuck it wants. Uh, had I had a torn, this would have been a little different of a game. I don't need my guard chomp to be at full for any particular reason. So it goes to Mew. Um, lefties, huh? Perhaps it's rocking. <laughs> Mag is a play. Um, figured it'd be Defog. Uh, we're gonna vol switch here. I don't think he's going crook. If he does, solid play. Um, what? So if you're gonna, I'm just terrified of what this Mew knows as it moves. Um, Cause it defog with rocks. What? Uh, Electrium Z kills that already actually doesn't does not kill his Charizard. Um, I just need a little bit of recoil. I just need Charizard to go for Earthquake. So I'm gonna go to my Bulu here. I'm gonna Wood Hammer because I'm confident he's gonna stay in. Um, whether he has a Willow Whisper or not, that I don't know. I mean, he has the Stealth Rock D Fog. He has a Swords and Sphere Thorn. Um, I just need to gather more information. Um, but the good thing is with Bulu up, um, that's health for my guard chomp as he goes Fair Thorn. And here he's gonna double switch. I don't know to what, but I'm just confident that's what's about to happen. I don't think he'd let Mag trap me. Uh, I think doubling to Zard is a very solid play. If he does go for Gyro Ball, so be it. That's a whisk risk that's a whisk. It's a risk I'm willing to take as he doubles back to Charizard. I get a crit, but it still does absolutely no damage. Um, how did that do so little? A crit. He's a slower Zard. He's like a bulky. That's why he switched versus. Okay, okay. That's why he switched. 
So fire points she loses very little. And again, this is where Torn would be really useful because Torn outspeeds hurricanes and has no resist. Um, I need to figure out a way to get rocks back up. Um, I can't even look at this. He has roost. Oh, he's fire punch, earthquake. Okay, chomp walls. God bless. Chomp walls with grassy terrain up. Chomp walls with grassy terrain up. That's phenomenal. So I just need to keep getting grassy terrain and chomping. Um, he's dragon callers. Okay. No wonder he. Okay, that makes sense. He's bulky though. He's, he's probably slower than my guard chomp. So even if he dragon dances here, uh, this is where earthquake would have been really helpful. So he dragon dances despite knowing he's not uh, able to touch guard chomp. He's gonna earthquake here. I don't think Stomping Tantrum kills a, a, a Zazar this bulky. Um, could Stone Age here anticipating him to DD again. Fire punches. Now, hmm, Fire Punch did 20. After Stomping Tantrum, to put him in cart range. This thing is a problem. Um, I think he is gonna switch here. But Astonishing Top and Tantrum is actually very helpful right here because I'm pretty sure he's gonna. No, I already showed Astonishing Tantrum. But if I had Earthquake, um, I would be in a bad spot as he goes for. He's going into Mew. I'm um, really not sure what this Mew is packing. Um, would have loved to have stealth right there. He has Psychic. But I can't have Chomp take any damage this game though. So I'm gonna Flare Cannon here. Um, hopefully he goes to Crook. Even if he stays in with the Mew, that's fine. Um, I, I gathered some information. This is a rough one, man. Okay, so he's Psychic. He psych gets his Spadef drop. Um, it's only showing Psychic thus far. Wait, what? Oh, I flirt cannon. Never mind. I wasn't watching that. I was not paying attention to that. I think Sacred Sword 2 it KOs this. 74%. Uh, let's find uh, fire punches, which I expected. So now I can get up rocks. Um, because now if his Mew goes to D5, D5. Now, losing Bulu is big. Because now I have to protect my chomp in, in a, some other way. Uh, and I have no opening to sweep him. Goes to Crookadile. I don't know why Crook. Um, I even want to keep my scarf on my cart. Let me see. I cannot beat Zard ever. His timer is about to wear it on. He's gonna go for knock off. I have to go car here. I have nothing else to take a knock. Um, so I'm gonna be playing without. He stone edges. Okay. I don't know why he stone edges a guard chomp. So right here, you go to either Ferret Thorn or whichever the case. I want my health back here, Ferret Thorn. And I'm gonna go to my Magnus on here. If I can trap Ferret Thorn, maybe there's hope. I, I still don't know how. But. Goes to Mew and uh, it's showing Psychic. What do they have move? You healing me? Um, there's this flash cannon here. Defox. I guess healing move is the other thing. Um, so Psychic Stealth Rock D5, which means he's gonna Stealth Rock again here. Um, gonna KO him. I can't really stop the rocks. Goes to Zard. Um, he should earthquake here. Um, my charm should be faster than him though. Dragon dances. I don't think I died to earthquake. I can't afford to. Uh, Forty percent. 
Unless he's like max attack, max. I'm not that invested. Unless he's like max attack. Let's see what we can do. So cart earthquake. I took a lot from the earthquake. I didn't want. I wanted to go torn. So if my torn was alive, I would have gone torn there. I mean, if my torn wasn't frozen, I would have gone torn there, um, and had torn take the earthquake. But now. Ah, uh, well, if Garchomp goes, I mean, if Zar goes down, what does that open up? Maybe a Smart Strike Sweep if I try Ferrothorn. And he has a hard time beating. Uh, gotta let Chompy go. Because I can't. Oh, fuck, man. Gotta let Chompy go. Alright, so he's gonna probably go to a Mew, maybe. Um, no, it doesn't kill. Oh, he sacks, sorry. He lived at 20. Cartana's shit did 25. Alright, I've, I've lost. I've lost. He is like max. He's definitely max HP, but he's like, like defensive too. 20. Look at Cartana. 461 attack. 25% with Sacred Sword. 25. 25 percent. So if that was super effective, I could only do 6 50 percent to this Charizard. What? Again, if Torn was um I wasn't frozen, this would be a little different of a game. Just not having it as an option was a big deal in this one. Excuse me. Um, since it's so slow, I might be able to outspeed it with Torn. I'm not gonna quit yet. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I'll speed it with Torn. If I can unthaw, I did outspeed it, but he won the speed tie. I mean, speed tie. If I can just unthaw and hit a hurricane, but I didn't have it. So, as you can tell, Torn would have been a huge win. Um, but that's where we're gonna end it today. Pretty rough L to take, especially with a weird team like this. And it's funny because it could have flipped the other way at any moment in time. Um, but that just wasn't the case. Rough loss again. Uh, Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.